Oh, hey, it's pretty hot on campus, so I thought I might just cool down outside. But today, we're exploring the modern view of reports, and we'll be joined by Pro Advisor correspondents Kenji Kuramoto and Roman Villar. Hey, Pro Advisors, I hope you're enjoying your summer. I'm Jacqueline, and you're watching In the Know. It's the show designed to keep you in the know on the most exciting updates to QuickBooks Online. Modern View of Reports is an important update for accountants and advisors, so let's get to it. We heard that you want better tools to customize standard reports and flexible ways to share those insights with clients. So we built a modern review for reports that scales with you and your clients. With Modern View, you have access to powerful customization tools like pivots, filters, groupings, conditions, and more. And you can even convert reports into charts and dashboards and then embed them into management reports and even spreadsheet sync. And now for the fast facts. Modern View of Reports is available to all users across the entire family of QuickBooks products. But heads up that Modern View features may vary by SKU. You can access Modern View of Reports by simply visiting reports in your QuickBooks online subscription. This is now available on select standard reports across all regions. If you find this update interesting or helpful, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. All right, let me introduce you to Harshal, who's the product manager behind this update. Hey, Jacqueline. Hi, thank you so much for having me on this episode. My name is Harshal. I'm a principal product manager with Intuit. In this, in this demo, I'll quickly walk you through some of the salient features of Modern View reports and what to expect when you're working with these. Let's create a brand new report from scratch, showcasing a bunch of features that are available on Modern View. Please note that what you see on this demo right now is not just available when you create a new report from scratch, but for all reports that are there on Modern View. The way to identify if a report is on Modern View or not is through these identifiers that say that a particular report is available in the new enhanced experience. For the purpose of this demo, let's go back and create a new report from scratch. QBO will offer several templates out of box. If these templates do not fit the bill, you can choose to create a new report from, from blank. But for now, let's go ahead and create a, an invoice report and see what QBO has for offer. You'll notice QBO has spun up a new template with a couple of columns that describe invoices that are recorded in this company file. What you'll also notice is a bunch of customization options available right there on the interface without, uh, without having you to drill down or dig deep into the interface. One of key, uh, key value propositions for, for Modern View uh, is the ability for customers to pick up a bunch of columns that describe business entities in QBO. The way to do that is to head over to columns, click on more columns, and this is where you'll see a bunch of business entities that QBO has to offer on Modern View. Because this report is related to invoice, let's drill down into the invoice section and see what Modern View has for us to offer. You'll see column selections available here that are split into a bunch of different sections. You can choose columns that describe line items on an invoice or the invoice headers or other entities which are linked to an invoice such as the chart of accounts, customer, the, in the terms or the payment methods. For now, let's not add any other columns, but let's see what, what other customizations are there for us to explore. One of several proof uh, value propositions for Modern View reports is that all customizations available are applicable to all the columns. What that means is that Modern View reports, on Modern View reports, you can sort data by any individual column that's there. While right now the report is sorted by date, you could very well choose to sort the report by customer or the amount. Let's sort this report by customer for now and change the date range so we get some more data onto this report to play with. Heading on to filters, Modern View reports have much more powerful filters than our customers, uh, than what our customers were used to. Again, all columns available on the report are available as filter selections. So let's go ahead and filter this report for a bunch of uh, individual customers that we want to play with. Monview reports also allow customers to choose logical operations that let customers select more than one conditions. For now, let's include any invoices that were there from these three customers or where the invoice amount was greater than, let's say, $10. You'll notice that the report now reflects all, all invoices which meet these two conditions. Customers can choose to add more conditions or add new filter lines altogether. So that was a view of what Modern View has to offer for our customers. Thank you so much for having me on this episode. Awesome. Thank you so much, Harshal. We'll turn now to ProAdvisor correspondents, Kenji Kuramoto and Roman Fillard. 
Well, Kenji, Roman, thanks so much for hanging out with us on the show. It's awesome to see you both as always. Roman, let me kick it off with you. Tell us why a modern view of reports is such a big deal. Yeah, thanks, Jacqueline. Um, the modern view of reporting for me uh, as a, a tech forward CAS practice, um, for us, it's all about data and the customization of data because we pride ourselves on knowing our clients really, really well. And so to the extent that we can sort, filter, manipulate data in a, in a consistent manner that really hits on the things that our clients need to see on a month to month basis, um, that provides a ton of value. And so for us, we love the ability to um, see the customization and the logic applied to that modern reporting. And I believe that as we continue to march down the path of utilizing data in more efficient manners, like it's only going to relate to a better client experience for the clients that we serve. And Kenji, at Acuity, I know, of course, you offer CFO services, controller services. How has Modern View of Reports helped your team deliver those financial insights and advisory services? Yeah, I think what's interesting is change is hard for people sometimes, right? And in fact, the historic reports out of uh, QuickBooks have been really solid. So we actually had a, some team members who were like, but I like the old reports, you know, the, you know, I prefer those over the new ones. I think that's more just a change management issue that firms are going to have to go through. I mean, the good news is you can still use the classic reports. You can go flip over to those, but uh, the new enhanced reports are really solid to Roman's point especially if you're doing advisory at the CFO level or controller level. Um, customization, like he mentioned, is super important. I mean, you have to be able to customize data for specific needs, but sometimes customization, like it took a while. You'd have to pull data out of different reports and stick it, you know, somewhere else like in, in Excel or some other you know, Google Sheets. It's really nice to, be able to do customization, but really quickly, like right with the enhanced reporting, you can build that report and see the changes almost instantaneously. So, uh, yeah, it's important for an advisory firm. It's also nice that like it's it's saving you time by having a lot of those tools like nascent right inside of QuickBooks Online. The other thing to your point, Kenji, like, yes, it is a difficult transition, but the ability to layer in these new visuals and the way in which you can display the data in a management report that not only is efficient in the tool, but also is is more easily understood by clients. I feel like that that digestibility of what we're delivering improves drastically when we're able to utilize this type of reporting. Yeah, absolutely. And when it's when the customization is quicker, it allows your team to kind of spend more time doing that creative kind of work of thinking, ah, oh, I wonder how this presents to the client. Will this make a bigger impact? And so they're doing that instead of like rerunning reports and shifting data around. They can see that much more quickly. So they're kind of using those creative analytical skills a bit more than just having to kind of the old kind of spreadsheet jockey we used to say, just moving numbers <laughs> around, which can be time consuming. So it's been nice to, to speed the process up a bit. Okay, so Roman, if we can get really deep in the weeds of modern reports, are there any specific filters or groupings of data or any pro tips that your team has just loved and you can pass on to the audience? You know, when I think about what's most impactful for our clients, you know, we go back to it time and time again, but it's all around cash. And so if, if we can understand what our clients' customers' behavior look like, looks like within specific groups, uh, maybe it's regional, maybe it's by state, maybe it's sliced and diced in different ways. But if we can help our clients understand how and when cash is coming into the bank, that then helps them understand what their next 13 weeks or next few months looks like from a cash deployment standpoint. So from a hot tip perspective, I would probably start looking at groupings on AR and understanding how can I deliver this to a client in a way in which to help them focus on how to address that collectability more, more intentionally. What's neat too with this modern view of reports is after you set up a report in the way that you like, you can save it. So hopefully it's easier for your team to then go in and pull those different cash reports for clients. Kenji, what about you as you think about, you know, the universe of reports that's available in QuickBooks and now with this modern view, are there any go-tos for your team or does that vary by client maybe? It may vary by client, but I think some of the tools tend to be universal. I was really impressed by, and this is going to shock people who know me because like, wait, Kenji knows how to do accounting. But yes. I, I was super impressed by seeing pivot tables like right there native inside of inside of the enhanced reports. I mean, I'll admit back in my day when I was doing more accounting myself, yes, Kenji did some accounting, 
Um, <laughs> I used pivot tables like crazy, right? If I really wanted to manipulate data, and now the fact that it's native there really, really gives a powerful tool for a lot of us accountants to go and slice and dice data in a way that we want to see it. So,、um, I I know our teams kind of start using systems like that. Uh, and reports like that when things get more complex, so they have it built in right there within enhanced reports. I think our team's going to use that heavily across a lot of our、um, advisory clients. So Kenji, something you and I have had many a conversation about is as powerful as these reports are, it takes more to deliver advisory than just showing the report to a client. Like you also have to deliver、right. that insight. So do you have any advice for folks as they like? Create these new awesome reports. How do they deliver it to clients in such a way that really lands? I always like to tell our team, let's look for just a couple, one or two insights.、Mm. We don't have to get go line by line through a P and L or balance sheet. Look for a couple of insights each time,、um, and then also be looking for a story arc. I think it's really important that、um, business owners think about their financials are. They're a story. They're a story of how that business functions. And so sometimes, you know, I always tell our team, we're not necessarily the author of that story, but we're helping. We're helping them kind of understand what that might be. And again, small business owners sometimes struggle with that. They're just overwhelmed by numbers, but there actually is a story about what's happening in their business. And if you can find just a couple of good salient points to help that business owner understand what's happening in their business. I think it's super impactful. So don't overcomplicate it. Keep it simple. And hey, what's the storyline that the financials are telling? Yeah, what I was thinking is somewhat similar to what Kenji mentioned、uh, as it relates to a storyline.、Uh, one thing we like to do is is always architect and orient around what that end state, that end goal, that next milestone looks like for a client. And so we want that to be front and center for anybody on the team who's doing any level of work for that company. And For for an, an accountant, a controller to understand that the goal is to exit or the goal is to navigate a fundraise, to to look at the financials with that in context, always provides you with a different lens on how to interpret what you're seeing financially. And sometimes that may be line by line. Sometimes that may be a little bit more holistic trend view of data.、Uh, but ultimately, with the data point of where they're trying to go, layered on top of what we're doing on a month-to-month -month basis,、um, I think it's really important to have those walking、uh, hand in hand as we walk through the month and close and advisory process. You know, business owners have usually a goal in mind, and so we're helping them kind of show where where are we going? Are we are we closing the gap toward that goal? Are we veering off it? Um, and so I think that's that's a good thing to keep in mind from an advisory perspective. We're helping people, you know, reach their goals, reach their, you know, what they're wanting to accomplish in the business, which can be really fun and powerful. It's different than just kind of going line by line by line through a report or just delivering a report in their inbox. That's a very different skill set, but I think it's much more rewarding too. Well, I I love this idea of how do you help the client. Either find their story or navigate their way to their happy ending, and ultimately, all of the new functionality in modern view of reports is about enabling our pro advisors to be the advisors to their clients and help them succeed. So, Kenji, Rowan, thanks so much for hanging out with us on the show. It's always awesome to spend time with you both. We will definitely catch you next time. And thank you for watching this episode. I'm Jacqueline, the host of In the Know and leader of Pro Advisor Training and Certification. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe so that you don't miss a single episode. We'll catch you next time.